Hello and welcome. I am Lisa, the Queen of Support here at Pose Point of Sale. And today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to get your Pose Register going so that you can get selling. The first thing you're going to want to do is select the cash register that you'd like to log into from the drop down. Click enter. You will see this hang tight screen and all that is doing is syncing your information from the cloud. The first time you log in every morning, you will see the beginning of day reports that will ask you how much cash you have in your drawer. So we're going to go ahead and say 150. Click approve. Now this is the cash register itself. As you can see, it's very simple, very streamlined. You have your checkout here with all of your checkout options at the bottom. You have your items here, categories and products, your customers section here with a list of all of your customers, and your receipts tab here that shows you a list of all of your receipts, which you can sort by different type. For example, current, open, PayPal, parked, refund, and receipt. Clicking the cogwheel here in the top left hand corner will allow you to expose the menu. So here you can get back to the management system. The Z report feature will give you a breakdown of, of how much you've sold since you've last closed your register. Obviously we just opened the register so we don't have any sales for the day. The Z report is what you will want to do when you go to close your register at night. This is your end of day report. Now once you click Z report if you do have sales for the day, you will see a breakdown of them here. You can go ahead and click next and it will take you through the steps on how to go ahead and close your register. Once you close your register, you will get an email with the breakdowns for the day. The sync feature allows you to sync your sales back to the cloud if, for example, your internet has failed. If your internet does fail, no need to worry because Pose will store all of your sales in the browser so that you can continue to sell. The time clock feature will allow your employees to clock in and out. And there's also a logout feature as well. So first I'm gonna show you here how to add a simple order. So we're gonna add a customer to this order. We're gonna add Melissa. Melissa's name will appear in the top left hand corner. We're going to click items. Melissa is going to get a medium candy basket and she's also going to get a large lollipop. Now you can also scan items into Pose. If you are using a scanner, you will want to scan the barcode. You want to make sure that the barcode is in the SKU item in Pose in your inventory section. What you're going to want to do is make sure the cursor is clicked here and when you press scan, the item will appear here in the checkout. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check out. I'm going to explain here a couple of the features here. This is the order print feature. This will allow you to send the order to, for example, the bar or the kitchen. The note feature here will allow you to add a note to the order. So for example, we're going to say this is for delivery and we're going to show that on the receipt. And click Save. Next to the tax, you will have a little button here if you've enabled your tax exempt feature. This will allow you to turn the tax on and off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check out. So I was the one that made the sale, so I'm going to go ahead and select me and click Cash. And here you have the option to change the amount of money that the customer has given you. So for example, you have the quick keys here that you can use, or you can manually add the amount. So we're going to say that Melissa is giving us $125. Now Melissa's email address is here in the information section about her. So because of that, the charge and e-receipt feature is illuminated. If that feature is not illuminated, that is simply because you do not have an email address listed. You can go ahead and click edit and you can add an email address so that you can email the receipt to the customer. You also have the option to add a gift receipt as well. We're going to go ahead and charge and print. You will see this pop-up come up. This is a standard feature in the Chrome browser, which allows you to go ahead and view the receipt. On your computer, you will see print. Mine says save, but go ahead and click print and that will print the order to your receipt printer. All right, so next what you can do is if you want to add a miscellaneous item, you can do that here. So we're going to say gift wrapping. 
we're going to add a value of $8. That will add that to the sale. We're also going to add another feature here. Some gumballs, candy bear, gummy bears, gummy worms, and jelly beans. And we're going to go ahead and click checkout. Now you can see I have not added a customer to the sale. I'm going to show you what you can do here at the checkout. So for this, we're going to do a checkout with a credit card. And I'm going to add a new customer. So we're going to say Peter Mitchell. And we have Peter's email address. And I can click charge an e-receipt now that I have Peter's email address. Now, if you're using an external terminal, it will ask you for a transaction confirmation, which you can enter. In this case, I will go ahead and enter one. I can go click next and there we are back to the checkout. Now, if you want to sell a gift card, you simply click gift card. I'm going to do one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. You can manually enter the gift card like I just did, or you can swipe the gift card if you do have a physical gift card present. I'm going to click next. All right, I'm going to add this for $65. Add funds to the gift card. And I'm going to go ahead and check out like I would normally do. Cash. And charge and print. In this case, I'm going to click charge and no receipt just to save time. All right, the quick return function allows you to go into return mode. So if you were to click quick return, you will see that your items turn orange and allows you to return items into the negative. It is used the same way that you would use for a normal checkout. All right, I'm gonna show you now a breakdown of the different customer features. So we're gonna go ahead and click Kathleen. You can see Kathleen here has a punch card. The punch cards in Pose are stored electronically, so you do not have to physically print punch cards, which is, which is great. So here she has one punch in her punch card. She also has another punch card that has been filled. So if any given time, I can actually click redeem if she would like to have that chocolate chip cookie that she has for free. You can click on this person feature, which will give you the information about Kathleen. Unfortunately, we don't have any information about Kathleen, so I'm going to go ahead and add some information. Add her email address. And I'm going to add her birthday. I'm going to add her to a loyalty program. She comes in quite often, so she is a VIP. Now you can also add different features. You can add a second phone number, fax, email address, Twitter. We're going to go ahead and add her Facebook ID. Kathleen. And go ahead and click save. And now when you click on that information, you will see Kathleen's information, including the feature to get to her Facebook as well. Now, if you click the little graph here, this will take you to the sales that Kathleen has. So for example, if Kathleen calls you and says, I lost one of my receipts, you can actually go into Kathleen's information here and find that receipt, click it, and you can print it or send it to her, which is really fantastic. This is what a receipt looks like. So you have all of your store information, the person who sold the receipt, the items that were on the receipt, the punches that she earned from the receipt, and how she paid. You will also see a little figure here with the punches that she has. I'm going to go ahead and click close there. All right, we're going to go back and I'm actually going to click on my name because I want to show you how the um, gift cards look on the, on the customer card. So here you have the present here, which gives you all of the different rewards. So under Lisa, you have the different rewards that she has. So for example, she has a member discount where she gets 10% on every sale. She has a punch card that has four punches on it. And she has a redemption where she can redeem a chocolate chip cookie because she has previously filled another punch card. Also, she has gift cards here. So she has a gift card with a gift card number and a balance here. So when she comes in, if she, for example, does not have her gift card with her, you can look it up here or you can look it up in the gift card reports as well. The receipts will give you a breakdown of type. So if you need to look up a receipt, you can quickly and easily do that by just sorting them by type as well.
So for example, if you have a cafe or a bar and you've parked an order, you can select parked. And here are all the orders that are parked. So you can go ahead and click this particular order and Lisa's ready to check out. Maybe she was walking around doing some more shopping and you didn't want to clear the order. So you parked the order and it's right here ready to go. You can repark it as well. So if Lisa says, hey, I'm not quite done yet. I want to go buy some more things. I want to continue shopping. Okay, no problem. So you go ahead and park the order. Make sure that you assign a customer to that and click parked and it is ready to go whenever Lisa comes back and she is ready to check out. If you would like to add a miscellaneous item, you can do that as well. Just click add misc item. All right, and you can name that item as well. So we're gonna say gift wrapping. And this is a $5 order. We're gonna add that to the sale. And we're going to add a couple pieces of candy. Maybe this will be going as a gift. And we're gonna add a customer to that sale as well. We're gonna add Jonathan, add to the order. Now I wanna give Jonathan a discount on this particular item. So on the candy hearts, we're gonna give him a discount here of 10%. So all you have to do is click on the item in the checkout, click discount, and then add the discount here. You can add a percentage discount or you can add a sum. In this case, I'm adding a percentage discount of 10%. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. You can see now that the item discount is here right underneath the item. I'm also gonna add a 10% discount to the M&Ms. So we're gonna go ahead and add 10%, add discount. We're gonna go ahead and check out. In this case, we're gonna use a credit card. So because I clicked credit card, like always, the information is already filled in, so there's nothing that you need to do. However, let's say Jonathan has only $20 left on his credit card and he wants to pay the rest in cash. So what you can do is you can click here, change that to $20. Oops. And you can click split. And what that will allow you to do is split the sale. We're gonna add the transaction confirmation here on the credit card. And that will tell you that, you, that Jonathan has a remaining balance of $2.48. So he's gonna pay the rest of that in cash. So you can go ahead and click cash and finish checking him out for $2.50. So we're gonna do, in this case, I'm gonna do charge and no receipt. But you can see here that Jonathan does not have an email address set up. So because of that, he doesn't have the option to email the receipt to himself. So we're gonna go ahead and just add an email address for Jonathan here. And now that charge and e-receipt feature is illuminated. So we're gonna go ahead and click charge and no receipt. All right, so that is basically a breakdown of the cash register. Um, you do have the option to scan items into the register as well. So for example, if you have a UPC or a SKU number on your item um, and you have a barcode scanner, you need to make sure that you have that SKU or that barcode entered in the SKU feature in your pose inventory. And then you just wanna make sure that your cursor is located here in the search bar and you can go ahead and scan the items and they will appear here in the checkout. This is great if you have several items. Um, for example, we have customers that have up, upwards of 30,000 items. So obviously going through the checkout is very tedious, but being able to scan items into the checkout is a great way to save time. So if you have any questions, we are available at support at getpost.com. Feel free to email us anytime. And thank you so much for tuning in.